I just changed my top so I didn't clash with the books. Hello and welcome to my April book haul. Yes, it's the middle of May. No, I didn't buy all these books in April. Just went through a bit of a, I wouldn't really call it reading slump, more that it just wasn't my priority to read. And now I'm kind of coming back to reading a bit. I'm obviously coming back to buying books. This first one is called The Clothing of Books by Jumpa Lahiri. I'm so sorry for butchering that name. I found this in a museum shop in Bristol and as soon as I saw it I was like I need to have that. I think it's gold foiling, it really gets me. It's just a 71 page book about books and the design of the covers of them and how they're perceived and also what like an author is trying to get through through the cover. Next I have three books that I got in the science fiction um, area of Hatchards and Piccadilly. The first is The Secret People by John Wyndham. I've read three, maybe four of his books and they're so beautiful. There are I think 11 um, of these kind of like nice illustrated publications by Penguin. I'd never seen this one before. I haven't heard anyone talk about it. There are a couple of John Wyndham books I do want to read kind of before I get to like the lesser known stuff. Um, but I don't know, I was just drawn to this. While flying over Africa's New Sea, a water project in the heart of the Sahara Desert, Mark Sunnett's rocket plane crashes and is sucked through a hole in the desert floor into a strange, cavernous new world. It's John Wyndham's first book. I always like reading an author's early or like first works um, because you get to see, you know, the foundations of what led to like some of the more well-known ones. There he and his partner Margaret encounter the survivors, <laughs> sorry, Margaret, Mark and Margaret Sonnet. I love how like quintessentially fucking English it always is. Anyway, they encounter an ancient race of underground dwellers whose whole existence is now threatened. Captured and forced to live with other prisons taken from the surface, the pair know that they must escape before the water above drowns them all. So dramatic. Next, I have A Scanner Darkly by Philip K. Dick. I know I talk about like book covers and publication a lot here and everything I brought is partly due to the cover, but really this matters to me so much because Philip K. Dick, a lot of his works are like science fiction masterworks copies. I'm gonna get up and show you some. So a lot of Philip K. Dick's stuff is published as science fiction masterworks, which are like this, and they just have the least inspiring spine ever. I actually like, made a project to um, redesign all of the science fiction master workbooks which I still have on my computer somewhere. Um, anyway, I think these are kind of gross and they feel gross, but this is delightful. This copy of Do Android's Dream of Electric Sheep is the easiest of this style to find and then probably a scanner darkly. I read this ages ago and it wasn't what I expected and I really liked it and I love how sci-fi it was in a way that I don't usually go for like sci-fi sci-fi, but it's high time I picked up another dick. Substance D, otherwise known as death, is the most dangerous drug ever to find its way onto the black market. It destroys the links between the brain's two hemispheres, leading you first to disorientation and then to complete and irreversible brain damage. My last find in Hatchards was this We Who Are About To by Joanna Russ. Not gonna lie, found it on a table, thought it was pretty. Um, it's part of like the Penguin Worlds thing, so I think they have five out at the moment. Um, just really fucking beautifully designed. It's only like 120 pages or something. But I thought it had an interesting premise. It's essentially like if you crash land on a spaceship, it's your responsibility as the passengers to kind of like continue human life there. And it says that one woman doesn't want to do that. But on an alien world where survival dictates conformity, her rebellion is seen as the worst kind of betrayal. So fucking dramatic. I mean, this is so science fiction-y. I don't usually go into like space opera kind of science fiction, but I'm hoping it's gonna be a lot more about um, like women and their relation to their bodies and duties and empathy of the others. And I'm imagining like Lord of the Flies on another planet with adults. I have no idea. I will see, we will see soon. The last book I have to show you is a total deviation from what's going on so far. Um, and it's called Basic Income and How We Can Make It Happen by Guy Standing. I listen to quite a few like economics podcasts um, and they always bring up this idea of the national basic income. Um, I think there are a couple countries that already implement it, but, but the idea is that um, every person, if they work or don't work, gets 10 grand a year or something. Basically like the minimum, it's, it's not a large amount, you can just about survive on it sort of thing, but it sort of takes the pressure off um, people that can't work or don't want to work or in hard times or the market has led to their job becoming obsolete and that sort of thing. It's becoming like a more talked about economic idea um, because it's becoming more and more possible and probably more and more necessary. Sort of to kind of help level out economic disparity, um, but obviously costs a lot. I just got an email from Pelican with like the intro. Um, this just sounds super interesting and I wanna read more about it. I am already sold on this being a good idea um, and that I think it's kind of where most first world countries are sort of heading towards. But I'm interested to see the arguments on like how you can actually 
implement it successfully because um, I think that'd be really fascinating. I don't really care about politics or economics that much but I'm just just very intrigued by this concept. It's just like a different paradigm of how we would live. On that note I would just like to end this with a podcast recommendation. Um, it's not economics it kind of is about economics anyway there's this podcast called the truth and each episode is a story um like completely fictional really really well produced um and they have this one called the last job uh, which is about the man who has the last job in the world and it is so great and i think about it all the time so i'll leave links to that down below and links to all these books and yeah i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you at some point in the future